In the natural environment, bacteria can exist as free floating or swimming, also called planktonic. They can form flocks or they can be attached to a surface in the form of biofilms. In a biofilm, microorganisms interact among themselves and with the surface material. Multiple species can be combined, and to understand such a system, we want to know who is there and what can we do. Genomics can help us in this. Welcome to this introduction to the use of genomics in colloid and surface biology. I am Maria Suarez Diez. I am professor of systems and synthetic biology at Wageningen University in the Netherlands. At the end of this video, you should know how genomics can advance the study of cell surface and cell cell interactions and what the steps to take if you want to know more. DNA is one of the major building blocks of life, and in almost all organisms, is the molecule that carries information, genetic information, from one generation to the next. To analyze DNA sequences, we combine a structural annotation pipelines to identify genes, their genomic location and structure, with functional annotation pipelines to characterize the function of the proteins they code for. Metagenomics provides an even more powerful approach. When performing a metagenomics experiment, we combine DNA from all species in the sample, even if we don't know which species there are. Using metagenomics, we can identify the genomes in the population, identify the species and their potential. These approaches are enabled by the development of sequencing technologies that provide either short or long read fragments. Each of these approaches has its advantages and drawbacks. Currently, the most powerful approaches combine both technologies, short and long reads. In a biofilm attached to a biotic or a, bi a biotic surface, there are lots of DNA. In addition to the DNA in the inside of the cells, extracellular DNA is also present. Cells secrete DNA to provide the specific mechanistic properties to the biofilm. The extracellular environment also contains proteins, complex polysaccharides, metal ions, and all kinds of impurities. Therefore, isolation and extraction of DNA with high enough purity and quality is very challenging. We also know that the extraction method affects the result in, and the experimental protocols need to be carefully optimized for the question at hand. This is a complex problem. Dedicated experimental and computational workflows are required. In the SARC Bio project, we have reviewed recent advances in experimental and computational methodologies for the study of microbial surface interactions at different omics levels. Genomics plays a prominent role in our review. We believe it is critical to answer fundamental questions on the identity of the interacting microbes. We have prepared videos detailing state-of-the-art approaches for microbial genome isolation, sequencing and data analysis. There is a video for the experimental part and another for the computational analysis. We have complemented it with online tutorials illustrating the use of the key bioinformatic tools. These materials are available at the webpage of the SARC Bioprojects.